the process of doing a painting is um, pretty much always the same for me. I will put a number of canvases on the floor, um, some, uh, sometimes as many as four, depending on the size. And sometimes the paintings are just one panel, sometimes they're two, sometimes they're three, sometimes they're four. So if I want to do a very large painting, because of storage space, I have to do them in uh, separate panels. Sometimes I will put, say, three panels together on the floor, and I butt them so that it actually looks like one painting. And I work on it as if it were one painting. Then I will choose a, uh, a ground color, a color that I will put on the whole painting before I start making any marks on it. Um, it's usually a color that's mid-tone, which means not too dark and not too light. And I'll have chosen this color before, and I'll have, I will also have chosen all maybe three or four other colors that I will use to put on top of this ground color. I put the, I pour the bucket on the canvas, and then I take a sponge mop, and I actually mop it across the whole canvas. And I do not let this dry. And then I will take the uh, one color at a time, pour it, uh, you, and then manipulate it with another tool, a very large tool, maybe a big squeegee or a window washer tool. And I will start pushing the shapes around the canvas. Now, how do I do this? In what way I do it? I, I just cover the canvas, and it's intuitive. And the music is leading me a little bit into this because of the tempo the loudness, the gentleness of it, or the uh, vigor of it. And so I will sweep across the canvas uh, from one end to the other. Then I will take another color and another clean tool and do the same thing. Uh, the paint is very, very, very wet, so I'm having puddles all over the canvas. And I keep doing this success, successive times with three or four colors sometimes just two or three, until one or two things happen. Either the canvas is too wet to work on, so that I have to pause, or it might be done, which is very rare to have it done quickly. Uh, and then it, it, it gets so wet that I can't inflict any more color without losing the shapes. And then I'll go on to another painting, do the same thing, until they're all too wet to work on. <laughs> And then I have to wait till the next day. I am a, a very, very intuitive artist. However, I've had a lot of training, and a lot of training all my life. I can tell when my brain's switching over, and I have to stop. It's a very weird thing. But it's almost like meditation. It's very close to meditation, because you, yeah, meditation is about getting rid of your mind. And that's what I try to do. The final product is very, very interesting, and other artists have expressed this too. You become very separated from the work. It's, it's almost like a child that you've given away. Uh, I don't really relate to it that I have done it as if I had done it. It's a, a separate entity, and sometimes I look at it and say, oh my God, did I do that? Uh, sometimes I don't even have the memory of the process. And especially when it's a very good painting, I say, my, my God, did I do that? Sometimes it's a not a very good painting, and I will say the same thing. 